So we're in one of the greenhouses at Sonnenberg Gardens and... And mansion. Yeah, and this is a really amazing place. We're gonna take a look around and just see what else uh, there is here. We've been here many times. Yeah, we love it. For various reasons. And yeah, um, yeah. so it's, oh, it's 80 some odd degrees in here. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it. But just kind of explore, see what things we haven't seen before. Yeah, go on the trails. We haven't been here since everything was closed down and everything, so yeah. it's nice to be back. Let's go take a look around and see other stuff. I love the greenhouse just because there's so many intricate little details. Yeah, this is a dangerous room. Mm -hmm. This is the room where you're in here with your siblings and you're like, truce, truce, truce. <laughs> I'm in this room, but then coming to here. It's really cool. Like temperature wise. And this is the main part, I think, of uh, the conservatory. Oh, I like that tree. Plant Materials Program featuring native plant production from locally collected seed used towards restoring and enhancing natural areas within our New York State parks. And that's what they use. These form that just started up not too long ago. Yeah. These greenhouses are amazing, so. Yeah, put them to their use and yeah. so. what's going on in different areas of New York, where these plants are all from or going to. Yeah, so instead of building a new building, they just use the, what exists historically to our benefit today. Pretty wild. Yeah. see some things are off limits but really neat to look through at the different areas this is about the angle from that photo from 1910 ish just about this spot I mean, minus those people those people are getting photographed for engagement photos. Yeah, it's really so cute. We're gonna bounce. It's a popular place. <laughs> yeah. You can do weddings here. Yeah. It was one of our finalists. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, darn. The drive yeah. would be rough for some of our family members. It was close runner up. Yeah. So we're gonna go walk around and see what else we can find. Look yeah. at all the things. Are we gonna go this way? Um, we could just go anyway, really. And I don't think we've ever been on it. No. Uh, we just yeah. It's a nice walk, and then we do, we especially love this tree. That's incredible. You can kind of get lost in here. Let's see. Some grouchy people over the years left their names. It's a uh, weeping beach. It is beautiful and stately. I have new wayfinding signs. 
since we've been here last, showing all the various trees and their locations. Wow. Sleeping Beach. It's like, it's like very close to us. <laughs> it's, it's over there. What kind of plant is this that grows up the steps? I think it's right. awesome. Wisteria vine, I think. Is that what my mom said? Oh, climbing, climbing hydrangea. hydrangea. Oh, maybe I'm an idiot. Is that incredible? It's yeah, it awesome. starts way down here. Once you're up here, you can totally tell it's a hydrangea. Oh, because it's... Because it like, has blossoms. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure enough. So this is part of the rock garden. And it is pretty expensive. I guess it was three separate gardens at one point. But it goes all the way out. Wait. Where are we? Oh, all the way out that way. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Right? It's so mystical. Like a storybook. Yeah, like we're in like we're in an elven realm. We just come to Sonnenberg to play pretend. Yeah, pretty much. That's, that's it. Normal. That's what grown ups do. Yeah. I think that's normal. Look, a staircase. Mystery, intrigue. Mm -hmm. Like tiptoeing around so no one knows that we're here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this goes back up to... Oh, have we done this steps? Uh, these steps before? I don't know. I can't remember. Probably, because if we saw steps that went to a mysterious location, we would go up them. Yeah, that's We've probably true. done this exact thing multiple times. <laughs> yeah, and every like, time we're probably oh. like, oh my goodness, oh. have we done this Is before? This new? Oh my. This is off right now. They must be reconditioning it. And that's the carriage house, I think. Aviary. And we're gonna head up to the mansion just to take in a few sites over there. And maybe the rose garden after that. So here's the old fashioned garden. Actually, they're set up for a wedding today. Uh, if anyone wanted a sneak peek of what that would be like. We're not wedding crashers though. Today. Today. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be a beautiful wedding. Yeah, there's a tent there. And the aviary looks like they have a food set up in there. Like this gazebo, two story gazebo. Can you go up here now? I don't know. Let's see if there's a thing that's there. That is still not safe. No, NG. There's a missing step even. Yeah. Any steel workers out there who need some extra stuff to do? <laughs> yeah, sure. And here's a rose garden.
so we're out of the rose garden and gonna go up here. Oh, yeah, this is where they're set up for the wedding. I thought it was over that way. Maybe the reception's over there. I think the ceremony's over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at all those chairs. What a great backdrop. I know. Nice little backdrop for your wedding. <laughs> Queen even. Oh, quaint. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, so let's uh, go in and see a few things in the mansion. Yeah. So this picture is outside. And they used to have a bunch of those um, the bars going across to support us. There's just a few left. Or one. Is there just one left? This is just one left. taking pictures for the wedding party out there so we're gonna turn around and go the other way and if anyone wants to take a listen to one of their guided tours scan that QR code or this one imagine eating breakfast out here that's the dining room too there amazing mm -hmm. yeah it's a new sign Simonburg Gardens has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1973 by the United States Department of Interior oh 2019 so maybe they did it after we visited the last time yeah yeah, yeah this is the uh, exterior of the mansion I love that chimney there so beautiful. And here's the Japanese garden. Apparently they were really into Japan. Mm-hmm. People who would travel would be really excited about the architecture. Yeah, so and art, which you can't blame them. This is gorgeous. Walk through the Tori Gate. Yeah. Cheese. Mm. It's a great view from up here. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Wow, really? You want to walk over the bridge? Yeah, let's go to the bridge and to the tea house since it's currently occupied. Yeah, yeah, we'll give them space. We had to come out down the hill there, but we get to go through another gate. Mm -hmm. They had frogs in here. It says here, over a six month period in 1906, a crew of seven Japanese workers led by landscape designer Kei Watamori sculpted what was previously a one acre apple orchard into an authentic Japanese garden. They transformed a gently sloping lawn into a garden of rolling hills, pools, and winding brooks, building the hills from the soil removed to create the pools. When they returned in 1908 to build the tea house, was modeled after a tea house in Kyoto. Six minutes till close. Yeah. We, we don't want to get yelled at by we, the wedding party. Yeah, we don't want to be those people. <laughs> yeah. So. We're not dressed. We are not dressed up enough to crash it properly. Unfortunately, yeah. Not with my Joel Haver shirt. I'm not a cacti shirt. <laughs> my cacti shirt. So we thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We didn't even get up to the upper floor of the mansion to show you that. So next, next time. Next time. Next time. Yeah, and we'll go come back this year, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So subscribe to our channel. And like this video if you liked Sonnenberg Gardens. I mean, besides the little bug that's been chasing me all day, <laughs> it's been a fun time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.